Good morning everyone, this video is just a brief video going through the corrections to the algebra quiz that you guys were given this week. I'm going to go through all the questions so you can see which ones you got right and which ones you got incorrect. Now questions 1 to 4 will multiple choice questions and let's start with number 1. The expression says a star b equals to 2a minus 3b. Then 2 star negative 3 is equal. And what you're going to do, you're going to replace the a and b with the 2 and the negative 3. So you will have 2, open bracket, 2, take away 3, open bracket, negative 3. Now 2 times 2 is 4, and you have negative 3 and negative 3, that is 9. 4 plus 9 overall is 13. So the answer to this question is actually a all right some of you may be confused at this particular part but just bear in mind that when you multiply 3 by negative 3 you get negative 9 and if an, with another subtraction sign in front of it remember that it becomes positive okay just to clarify this particular part here in fact I'll go a little bit further and write it out for you so that is 4 take away bracket negative 9 and you know when you see this particular setup where you have a subtraction and a negative, you know that this becomes positive, okay? Just to clarify, so most of you actually chose C for that answer, but the correct answer is 13. Moving on to question 2, you have algebraic fractions 4 over 5x plus 2 over 5x. The denominators are the same, so you know you just add the two numerators, and therefore the answer for this one should have been D keeping that denominator the same. Now question 3 is another algebraic fraction and you have 4x over 7y plus 3x over 5y. You know you have to find the LCM of the denominators and that should be 35y and we should know we need to multiply our numerators by the pro appropriate number. In this case the 4 will be multiplied by 5 and that should give me 20x and this 5y was multiplied by 7 therefore this 3 at top must also be multiplied by 7 and that should be plus 21x now because the numerator has all x terms we can simplify that top numerator and that should give you 41x over 35y and therefore the answer overall for number 3 is A. Now the last question in the multiple choice section was this expansion problem where you're supposed to expand these brackets and simplify. So let's do that now. That will be 5 multiplied by the 2x. That should be 10x. The 5 will also multiply that negative y leaving me with negative 5y. Then now this negative 2 will multiply this 3y leaving me with negative 6y and the negative 2 is going to multiply that negative 5x and that should give me positive 10x. So now I have 10x and 10x that should be 20x and I have negative 5y take away 6y that should be negative 11y so my answer for this question is D. Now we move on to questions 5 and 6. Question 5 is another binary operations problem. This one says a star b is equal to a squared minus b and we're asked to evaluate 5 star 2 so just like before you're going to replace the a and the b with the 5 and the 2 so I'll start off by putting a bracket 5 in a bracket and I'm going to square it based on what it says to do here take away 2 I know that that should be 25 take away 2 which should equal to 23 now question 6 is all about multiplying so we're going to simplify all these expressions here by just simply multiplying straight across and question 3 is the only one where we have to divide. So for part 1, it is 2ac times 4a times 3b. We multiply all the coefficients. So the 2, the 4, and the 3 will multiply to give me 24. Now that a multiplied by a should be a squared. And b is only 1b, so I write back b. And there's only 1c, so I write back 
a single C. Now part two, just like before, multiply the coefficients, so the five and the six multiply to give me 30. And I have two x's, there is x squared multiplied by a single x, so that will end up being x to the power of three. And there is one y here multiplied by three other y's, being that this is y cubed, so overall it will be y to the power of four. Finally, this one is division. You're going to divide the coefficients this time, so 24 divided by 3 is 8. I have 2 a's as an a squared divided by 1 a, that will leave me back with a single a. And I have b divided by b, therefore there are no more b's left, so the answer for this one is just 8 a. Now question 7 is about expanding brackets and question 8 is doing opposite which is factorization. So let's start off with 7. Part 1, the number in front of the bracket will multiply everything instead of the bracket. So this 3 will multiply this 3x and give me 9x. The 3 will multiply the 2y and give me positive 6y. Now for this one here, 2k multiplied by k, that should be 2k squared. And 2k multiplied by this negative 5 here should give me negative 10k. Now if you have a negative 1 in front of the bracket, that would mean that this is going to essentially change the sign of everything instead of the bracket. Negative 1 by 2a will give me negative 2a. Negative 1 by negative 4b will give me positive 4b. So all that happened for this one was that all the signs changed. And the last one, you have 3p plus 1 plus 2p plus 4, you do one bracket at a time. So the first bracket will be 3p plus 3. The second bracket now will be 2p plus 8. And now we add all the like terms, the 3p and the 2p will give me 5p and 3 plus 8 is 11. So this one works out to be 5p plus 11. Now we do the opposite in question 8. We're factorizing. So therefore if you have an expression, our goal is to put it in form where you have brackets. We must look for the common factors. For number 1, the common factor between 5x and negative 10 is just going to be 5. So 5 will come out. And in the bracket, I will have the remainders which will be x take away 2. Now for part 2, the common or the factors I will be looking for would be x and I know 2 can divide 8 and 6 so overall my highest factor for part 2 would be 2x and the remainders should be 4 plus 3y. For part 3, there is no common factor between 3 and 5 but in the two expressions, the common factor actually is a. So a will be my factor on the outside of the bracket. And on the inside, I would have 3b as my remainder plus 5x. For 4, I know 9 can go into both 9 and 18. And both of them have x. Therefore, my factor on the outside would be 9x. And the remainder would be... 2a plus 1 and for 5 the best factor I can see for this expression is just going to be x and the remainder would be ax I only took out 1x so I have to have ax as the first term in the bracket plus b finally I know 9 can go into 36, so my factor is going to be 9 and a single y, so 9y. Now 9 into 36 is 4, and I'm left back with 1y, and 9y into 9y should give me 1. In this case, remember there was a subtraction sign, so I have to put back the subtraction sign. So that is it. Move on now to question 9. 
In this question, we're just asked to reduce these algebraic fractions into their lowest terms. So remember the rules for division. I know I can divide 9 and 6. So if I cancel this down, if I divide by 3, I should get 2 here and 3 on the top. I can divide out one of these p's with one of the two of them that are on the numerator. So I'm going to be left with a single p on top. Now I have one q that I can cancel with one of the three on the bottom, leaving me back with q squared. So overall, this answer is 3p over 2q squared. Now for part two, we're going to do the similar operations. I'll divide the 8 and the 12 both by 4. So 4 into 12 is 3. 4 into 8 is 2. Now we have 6 x's on top and 3 on the bottom. We can cancel out all of these on the bottom with some of these on the top. And I'll be left with 3 x's on top. So x to the power of 3. I have 3 y's on top, 1 on the bottom. All of these ones will go, leaving me back with 2 y's on top. So overall, my answer for this one is 2x cubed y squared over 3. And there you have it for reducing these fractions. Now question 10 is all about multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. And just like before, you have to remember you can cancel either diagonally or vertically. So in this first expression, I have 8a squared b. And I'm going to start by trying to canceling it with this 4ab squared on the right-hand side. So I know that 4 into 4 is 1. 4 into 8 is 2. I have a single a which can cancel with this a here leaving with one a on top i have one b here which can cancel with one of the two here leaving me with one b on the bottom and likewise i'm going to also cancel diagonally for the 3m squared so the 3 and the 9 3 into 1 is 3 3 into 9 is 1 sorry i meant to say 3 into 3 is 1 and 3 into 9 is 3 and the M, I have a single M here, which can cancel out with one of the M's here, leaving me back with M. And I have N, which can cancel with this one up top, leaving me with two N's on top. So overall, I should have two multiplied by three is six. Remember to multiply these coefficients first. And then I should have A N squared. And on the bottom, I should be left with M and B. Okay, that's all it is. And for this one here, remember that you must you must invert this algebraic expression before you even begin. So for this one, I have to actually rewrite the expression 5xy squared over 7a squared B. I'm going to change that division sign to a multiplication sign and I have to invert this as I mentioned earlier so it's going to be 14 a b squared and you're going to have 10 x squared y on the bottom and now we can do our cancelling so 5 into 5 is 1 5 into 10 is 2 a single x We'll cancel one of these down here, leaving me with x. Now I have two y's here and one y down here, leaving me with one y on top. And 7 into 7 is 1, 7 into 14 is 2. A single a here cancels one of the a's at the bottom, leaving me with one a. And this single b cancels one of these b's up top, leaving me with b. So overall, my answer for this one is... If I multiply across, that would be 2by over 2ax. Well, this is still not in its lowest term because I could have also canceled these here. So to put this in its lowest terms, remember to just cancel out these here. And I'll leave with by over ax. 
And there you have it. So we ended off the test with a few algebraic fraction problems with addition and subtraction. I'm going to start off with the first three, which are slightly basic, and then I'm going to move on to the slightly more challenging ones. So in the first one, you have 6x over 5, take away 3x over 4. The LCM of 5 and 4 is 20, and we know that we have to multiply this fraction by 4, and therefore the numerator must also multiply by 4. That should be 24x take away and I know this fraction here had to be multiplied by 5 therefore the numerator for this one becomes 15x so 24x take away 15x I should be left with 9x over 20 now for this one here you have 2a plus 3a the LCM of 2a and 3a is simply 6a. So I know I would have to multiply this numerator by 3. And this side, I know I had to multiply by 2. So therefore, 3 by 3 is 9. And 2 by 2 is 4. 9 plus 4. And that should be 13 over 6a. <coughs> Now, the last one now, you have 7 over u, take away 4 over v. The LCM in this case, you simply multiply the u and the v together. So my LCM is u, v. And I know that I would have to multiply this side here by v. Therefore, the 7 must multiply by v. And this side here was multiplied by u. Therefore, the numerator must also multiply it by u. So that is 7v take away 4u. And we can't do anything else with this. We have to leave it as is. So these are the final three questions on the quiz. They're a little more challenging than the first three. Let's begin. For this expression here, the LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. I know I had to multiply this here by 4. So my numerator, all of it, must also multiply by 4. So that will leave me with... 4x plus 8. Now for this side here, I know that my denominator was multiplied by 3, therefore my numerator must also be multiplied by 3, and that should give me 3x take away 3. Now I just have to simplify the top portion, the 4 plus the 3, that should give me 7x, and I have the 8 take away 3, that should give me 5 and I must remember to keep my denominator as 12 that's the first one the second one the LCM of 9 and 6 is 18 to get 18 you know you have to multiply by 2 and for 6 you, know, you have to multiply by 3 so we must do the same thing for the whole numerator multiply that by 2 that would be 4m plus 6n plus 3 by m is 3m make it clear you're multiplying this by 3 so that's where I got the 3m take away the 12n so we simplify the top portion remember keeping our denominator the same so 4 plus 3 is 7m and now we have 6n take away 12 6 take away 12 will give you negative 6n now the last one might be the most challenging of them all simply because we are subtracting and remember i, I told you all you have to do something special when you are subtracting so the LCM of 5 and 4 is 20. <clears throat> I know that this numerator is going to be multiplied by 4. And I know this one is going to be multiplied by 5. So that is going to be 20x. Take away 28y. Now I'm going to put back the subtraction sign. I'm going to use a bracket now. When I 
operate on this side that is going to be 10x take away 15 why the reason I put the bracket was just to remind you all that this subtraction sign is going to affect everything inside of the bracket so the actual simplified version of this is going to be I'll write it up here 20x take away 28y and it'll have a negative 10x but a positive now 15y all over 20 and I can simplify the numerator and my final answer should be 20 take away 10 should leave me with 10x and negative 28 plus 15 should give me negative 13y all right all over 20 so there you have it those are all the questions in the quiz that i gave you this week i hope this solution video assisted you somewhat all right guys i'll see you all later